Hello, and in this tutorial I would like to show a combined workflow between the tracker, camera tracker and roto. So here I have a very handheld shot. Essentially I'd like to get a camera track out of this, but the people are going to uh, interfere with the camera track. So I would roto them out. I'm going to use keyframe tracking to get a rough track of their positions. I don't need to be particularly accurate in this one, as I'm only garbage matting out the people. I've created four keyframes. Great, first track done. Create a second track on this chap here. Again, just go through, create some keyframes. Key track all. And the last chap's a bit more problematic because he gets occluded. Now I don't really need to worry too much about dealing with occlusion the way I would have done before. I'm just going to switch to a different pattern halfway through and then go back because again I only need a rough garbage mat, I don't need a perfect garbage mat throughout. Let's see how that does, give it a bit of a good area to work through. So I'm expecting this one to jump a bit, the question is if it's jumping too much or cause me an issue or not. I think that would be pretty good. So if I bring up a roto now, view that, just do a quick garbage around the first guy. I'm going to put him into his own group and then I'm going to link to tracker one, the first track. It so immediately pushes the roto off, so I'm just going to use his own transform to push it back again. There he is. Again, do the same for this for the second guy. I've accidentally put him in the wrong group, so I'll move him out back to root, create new layer for this one. Again, go up, link to track 2 in this case, go back to its own positioning and put the roto back. And then lastly with the third guy, remember this is a more of a problematic track, it's less accurate. Again, put him in his own group, link to track 3 in this case, and again put the shape back where we started. And as you can see, that track was pretty much good enough to cover him throughout. Again, we are only garbage matting him. Now, one other point, what I'd like to do, or what I need to do, is ensure that I have a track point up at the top here within my camera tracker. Now you can see tracks within the camera tracker but these don't always remain so I'm going to use a user track to isolate this point. Now I need to be a bit more accurate with my keyframes because I'm wanting to place a bit of CG there. So let's just see how well these are placed. Last one's a bit out, so I'll move it there. All right, I've only done 60 frames, I haven't done the, the whole lot this time, but I'm gonna key track them anyway, and it will just track those 60 frames. How well did it do? 
Let's bring on the traffic lights if there's any major issues. There are a couple there. Well, that's pretty good. It's the motion blur that's caused that to complain. And actually, even though it has gone red, I said that was a pretty good track. So, I'm going to bring up a camera tracker now. We want to mask out the people, so I'm going to go to mask, mask alpha. We also want to create a user track. Just expand this out so you can read the buttons. Add user track, and again, we can link, in this case, track four. However, I find the camera tracker doesn't work if it's a link, so I'm going to turn this into keyframes. It's so one to 60. Okay, that's now turned that into keyframes. I've got a problem at the end of it where the interpolation carries on. So I'm just going to go interpolation after constant. And then the camera tracker will use that information. And now we just go track features. But what we're trying to essentially do is get a lock onto that point so that we know we can put an object there later on. Okay. So let's just solve the camera. And now we have a point there that we could create an object for. Right, let's go back into the camera tracker and create a camera. Now bring up a scene and through this we'll be able to check the integrity of this track. And there we go. So through using the tracker in a combination with Roto, we've been able to garbage out the people. And we've also added a user tracker to the camera tracker so that we've been able to put an object at a position of our choice. This is Howard Jones for The Foundry. Goodbye.